your call may be monitored and or recorded for quality and training purposes. If you know your party's extension, please press 1. Image recovery unit. My name is Chad. I have a click up there. Uh -huh. Well, I just had it and then I clicked off it apparently, so now I have to find it again. Sorry. I can look it up with a good phone number for you. <clears throat> uh, that's 727-339-8258. Uh, my name's Curtis Backus. Alright, thank God you see this here. And can you verify the address that they have on file for you? Yeah, that's 727-339-8258. Uh, uh, the, the address for you. Oh, uh, <clears throat> it's, um, 1535 7th Avenue South. Um, Sartell, Minnesota, apartment 311. And they put Minneapolis on here. Is that the same area? Yeah, it's 56377. Uh, I rented it in Minneapolis. Yes, that's correct. Oh. And it looks like they have an email that's called Curtis at Yahoo. That's correct. All right. And let's see. And let me assist you today. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I received some uh, emails. Um, and it says something about a damage waiver and a bill and stuff like that. So... I guess I just need that uh, explained to me, because um, according to the rep, he he basically said that I didn't owe anything, and it was no big deal, just had me sign a bunch of stuff, and so it's really confusing how the rep said that, and then I get a bunch of emails, so I don't yeah. know if now I owe something, or is there a deductible or something, I'm trying to read the documents that you guys sent me. And it says that yeah. possibly a, a deductible I might have to pay. So. Alright, well, let me get you to the recovery specialist team here. That way they can look into that document with you, see what's going on, mm -hmm. and get all the information you need. And let me give you the claim number here so you have that. Okay. It is 156-743-1000. Okay. I'll get you right over there. One moment. All right. Thank you. Pleasure. Morning. Uh, damage recovery unit is on. Speak to this public monitor and or recorder for quality and training purpose. I'm now. <clears throat> yeah. Um, hello. Hello. Yes, this is Damage Recovery Unit. So on Simmons' call can be monitored and or recorded for quality and training purpose. How can we offer? Oh, sound like there's two different people there. No? Sir, do you have a claim number for us to assist you with this morning? Uh, can you just look it up? No, I, I think... <laughs> I don't even know who you are or anything, so sir, I can't look up anything that I have to get um, what is your name? What is your outside number? Do you have a note from us? Or why are you calling, Mike? What's the, what's the purpose of the call? Uh, you don't have to be rude. Uh, the claim number, I no, just... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find out if you, have a, if you have a letter from us. I'm just going to tell you on the letter. It has a claim number on there for you. Well, I'm, I'm trying to find it. Just one moment. Okay, I do apologize. It sounds okay, like there's okay, dual people on the, on the line here. That's probably echoing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But go ahead, find your claim number. Let me know when you have it, and we can look up to see what, what you're calling for. Well, 
one five six seven four three three one. Yes, sir. You said one five six seven four three three one. That's correct. And your name? Curtis Backus. Okay. What can I do for you today, Mr. Curtis? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to look at this uh, claim here. And uh -huh. uh, according to the rep, he said that I didn't have to pay anything. There was, uh, everything would be taken care of. And now that I'm looking at this, uh, receive some documents here. <clears throat> I don't really have a full... Um, anything that tells me about the uh, insurance that I had for the DW claim that I paid for, the uh, $21, or I think it was $19 something per day <clears throat> that okay. covered the car. Okay. So, so I'd like to get some documents that would state what I was covered to my Curtis at yahoo.com so I can review the... Um, the type of insurance that I had. Okay, so, the, so when you came into the uh, branch, got your vehicle, signed the rental agreement. In that rental agreement, you should have everything that you paid for. That's correct. Okay. But, uh, you know, they, they said it would be sent to my email, and I never received any damage waiver protection document so that stated what so type of insurance I had. Okay, so you didn't receive it the day you signed. It wasn't on your signed rental agreement. When you signed the paper in the office to take the car, you, they gave you some paperwork. should have been on there. I did not receive yes. anything but a vague description of what DW was. As I see it in my email, a vague description of what DW is. Yes, I do have that signed document in my email, but it's a vague description of what DW is. I need a not vague description of what DW is so I can read the document. Right. Well, and then. I tell you, they didn't give you the document at the branch when you signed for the vehicle. The document should have had you said a piece of paper with everything written, written down on it. He sent it to my paid. email. So I do have that, but it's a vague description so of what paper. DW is. Are you going to argue uh, this? Uh, so what we're going to do is look, let me look over to everything. I'm going to send you. A uh, sign rental agreement, so you can look it over and see whether you had the DW that day of the. Let me see. I'm wait. I'm gonna place you on a brief hold. To check the damage. Yeah, cool. Uh, passenger side mirror, seat patches, bottom frame, vent. No problem. So you want to know what you want to know about your damage waiver. How much it was for each day, correct? And what you pay for on the date of the date of loss? But you want to make sure that you that you had paid nineteen dollars a day for the damage waiver, and you had to pay them to the date of loss, correct? I want to know <clears throat> if there is additional fees. Is there um? I can't even think of what it's called. Uh, Well, I, I just forgot real quick here. Uh, okay. What the hell is that called? A deductible. I want to know if there's a deductible that I have to pay for the claim between, to go in. Right, that's between you and the insurance company. Did you have a deductible with the insurance company? Let's see. So, the insurance company. Now, according to what the, uh, the the rep said, this was insurance. But according to what you, uh, according to the document, it says that it's not insurance. So it's really confusing. He said this is the bare minimum, uh, like insurance. So therefore. Why would I have to have insurance? That's what's confusing. Now, I did have a, a credit card, or I had a Wells Fargo debit credit card on this this thing. So what are you saying, that I paid $20 a day for what you call insurance? The rep said this, but then it was something different? 
So that's what's okay. confusing. Why did I pay nineteen dollars a day for a damage waiver that covered the car, but then it's not going to be covered? That's what's confusing that's to right. me. Right. Okay, I got you. I understand. I'm gonna make sure I bring Paul and check that information. Okay. Yeah. I understand exactly what you're asking. Okay. Hold on. And you said it was on your on your credit card that we took the money off every day, correct? Well, it was a it's a bank account, but Visa logo on it, so credit okay. debit, credit card type thing. You know, it's got a Visa logo, but not specifically a credit card. And it's Wells Fargo. Okay. I just want to know, I mean, I don't see any document that states what the deductible would be or anything like that. Uh -huh. So I'm not seeing the complete damage waiver document that would explain everything that it covers. I mean, I didn't see that. I wasn't sent that. That's not my email. So you guys uh -huh. still possess that document, so I should be able to see that document. Right. Uh, I did pay like for that, the I service. <clears throat> I have no problem filling out the claim thing, sending it in, but I should see what I'm covered or what my deductible is. Okay, right. That's I would think it would be pretty easy in standard documents. I mean, you guys provide the service. I think it would be easy just to send it to me. I definitely went back to the branch and told them that you don't have it, and they would have just printed it off for you right there. Uh, well, I mean, they just did paperless, so they, they gave me one document, like I said, a vague description of what it is, and then I have a vague description of everything I signed on my email. I'm going to say something. Hold on. That sounds something. Hold on. Ah, being put on hold for fucking ever. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. It was like five minutes waiting. Okay, so you're correct. You paid always for all through your rental agreement. You have paid for the damage waiver, so you're covered. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I'm great. I'm documenting that now. And um, that's in your closed rental agreement as well as in your sign, the one you signed and the one that you signed bringing the car back. 
the, uh, what you just received, just the first contact letter, just stating there was some damages to, uh, to the vehicle, you know, and this is what they're looking at, this is what they but it's not saying, stating that you'll be charged. Okay. So you didn't even, you didn't even receive, receive a bill. No, no, I, I haven't received letter. a bill, but, I mean, no, I just... You just received the first contact letter, and we're just letting you know the damages to the vehicle, but you um, purchased damage waiver, so that'll cover Okay, and uh, well, I'll just receive a e email or a, a letter stating this. You'll, you'll receive another letter letting you know that the um, damages either we're gonna pursue you or not. If you don't receive nothing else, we're not pursuing you. So, just like I said, uh, we probably won't be pursuing this anyway. So should I just go ahead with the damage waiver, the the claim though, and fill out all the information just just in case? I mean. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll have some more information out to you one way or another in two weeks. Okay, you know, well, I'll just weeks, go ahead. Don't and even worry about anything. Okay. Just go ahead and enjoy your day. <laughs> and we're taking care of everything on this end, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks so much for calling and holding on the phone. You have a great day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.